Okay guys, so I have some caterpillars that I collected just yesterday. Um, I have five in total and you'll see they have spikes and they're black with white dots and they actually have orangey red and yellow feet. Um, a really interesting thing I find is that whenever I take the lid off um, they either freeze completely so in this shot they're not moving or they will sort of wiggle so I guess if you were trying to catch them their spikes would probably hurt you. Um, I'll do a close up on them now because I film them with my macro lens so you can see them really up close. originally want to just leave them and see what they turn into. Um, I found them feeding on stinging nettles and uh, trust me that was not pleasant getting the stinging nettles. Um, I got stung. I didn't actually want five, I, only, I saw one and thought wow what is this caterpillar? I'd love to like take that home and like feed it and let it see what it turns into and then whilst trying to collect them a lot of them just dropped in this pot. I actually found a pot by the riverside. I didn't intentionally go down to collect anything. Um, just want to say that where I live you're literally like 10 minutes from a beach, 10 minutes from the countryside or 10 minutes from the sea so it's actually a really awesome place to grow up because you you could see like so much stuff. Now as I said I wanted to make this a surprise what it turns into. Um, these are such interesting caterpillars that I've personally never seen because in my garden you see mainly bees and aphids and ants and the odd slug. So anyway, I'd never seen these before and I was so intrigued, I was like, right, I'm going to leave it. And I actually made a video to this previous, like exactly the same one that I'm doing now, but I said I don't know what these are. Anyway, I'm going to collect more stinging nettles to feed them, but I went to look up like what else they eat. Scrolling down the page and the picture of the butterfly came up where they come out. So it's not like a big surprise anymore, but they come out as red admirals, which are pretty awesome butterflies, very colourful. I see them on the odd occasion, they can get rather big. Um, obviously, compared to butterfly species around the world, maybe not as big, but um, for Britain, pretty big. It's about, yeah, I thought about two inches, about five centimetres, two inches. Um, really, caterpillars are just a um, curiosity of mine. It reminds me of my childhood when you'd find a caterpillar and it was amazing and you'd put it in a jar with leaves and then it would turn into a butterfly and it was just amazing. So now I have five really awesome, chunky, spiky, oh it dropped down, spiky caterpillars and uh, they will turn into red admirals, so we have more of them in the wild. As I said, we um, I'm very fortunate whereabouts I live, you see quite a bit of wildlife and um, at the end of this I will add some pictures that I took from down by the riverside. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you like and keep up with these caterpillars' progress. I'll probably do a video when they turn into cocoons and then butterflies, maybe they'll release, so that'll be really cool.